Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are in our little uh, Minecraft save here. Now there's probably a little bit of mobs nearby because we did end on a note where I uh, kind of scurried inside. So we're gonna have some caution here while exploring the outdoors before working back on our project. Let's get rid of this guy here. There's quite a bit of them lurking about. And I'm low on food, so I should probably do something about that. This should provide me with quite a bit of food for me to uh, snack on while building. While it may not be the best option, it most certainly will provide quite a bit of nutrition. I'm a little worried about that creeper one. Ooh, that was nice. Wandering into a uh, distance, so we're gonna get rid of him real fast. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. The area around us is now safe. So if you recall, we were kind of working on this upper loft area, whoops, of the build, which I don't know how I'm gonna get to the other side there. It's kind of an interesting, uh, situation I put myself into. So we have a weird little pattern over there that we used for the top area and I think I'm going to continue that pattern when moving forward. So I'm probably going to need more stairs because I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten in total. So I should probably craft one quick set of them real fast. There we go. And let's go construct ourselves another wall to accompany this other part of the loft there. So I did stone brick and stone brick I think I did smooth stone on this bottom layer, followed by stairs, and another set of stairs. Oh yeah, I top. I kind of like do like a little uh, bait and switch thing, where it goes back and forth. So then we got a stair. I need to increase the ground that I can walk on down here if I'm going to do that. There we go. And a stair right. No, not right there. One more forward. And right. And then we have to have another one right there. And one right there. And let's get another one right there. I should probably go recover that other stair there that uh, fell to the other side of the... Uh... Oh, come on. There we go. So, there we go. A path has been carved. Not, well, okay, I don't know why I said that, but a little distracted right now. I'm kind of uh, in the middle of working on something that requires a lot of thinking, as well as my finals for my courses. So there's that too. 
So I think I'm also going to fill in these gaps here to uh, just make it look a little less empty. Because that way, when we're up here putting stuff in the chests later on, it all, uh, it all looks good. All right, let's uh, just do a quick little double there. Yep, there we go. And over there. Whoops, I don't know what I was thinking there, but apparently I wasn't. There we go. So this whole melon thing probably isn't gonna last very long. I'm probably gonna run out and go kill some pigs or something like that. In the meantime though, it is time to remove the dirt and actually begin constructing a real stairway inside of here. All right, so we should probably put some torches down just so that way we don't have any hostile mobs trying to get all up in our business here. There we go. A little simple there, but it'll do. And now we need to do the actual stairway. But I think we're going to do a ladder instead. Spanning right there in the middle. So, I think the ladder is an H. Yep, it is. And we're going to need six of those in total. Because, well, we actually only need four, but just because of um, how much we can carry, you know, we need six. And now we need to create the upper loft, which will be done with slabs like this. So we need much more of those. Which also means that I am going to have to go and cut down more trees. Which has been a very common theme of these past few episodes, is cutting down these spruce trees that I've been planting up and then cutting right back down. So, let's go give this one a good old chop down. And in a little bit we'll come back around and pick up all its saplings, so that way we don't run out of spruce trees because we're cutting almost every single one in the area down. So, a little bit of a, of work, but it must be done. So, for those of you who do not watch the Kingdoms and Castles series, it has come to an official conclusion. And, I had an announcement at the end of that. Which involves two projects that I am currently working on. Um, one of them is really different than probably what you guys would be expecting it to be. So it'll be interesting to see the reaction to it. And one of them is an entire playthrough of a game basically uploaded at once. Well, not at once, like in a in a day-to-day -day scenario. So. That's, yeah, that's what I mean by project, for one of them anyways, is that it's, um, I'm just basically playing through the entire game, and then I'm going to upload all of it at one, like, you know, in sequence, uh, alongside with my other uploads, so that way, it's kind of like, you know, you can binge it if you want to, if you're into that kind of stuff. So, just, that's kind of what to expect in the upcoming future, if you... Um, if you're new here and you don't really know what's going on and you're um, not subscribed, please, uh, please do. Because, I mean, you know, I have more videos than I do subscribers and that's kind of sad. So, I mean, you know. Anyways, enough, uh, enough pity party. Let's, um, let's get back to the video here. I'm, I don't have enough resources for that. Oh, oh, I have a lot of, oh, I have a lot more wood materials than I thought I did. 
we're gonna use birch to do the the chests because why not all right let's uh drop down two chests there two chests there can you still open okay you can all right and I think item frames need leather, so I'm gonna have to go kill some cows. Or, yeah, because I used a lot of the leather for the bookcases that I have in decoration down there. So, those to be exact. So let's um, let's go and uh, get some sleep here, and we'll uh, we'll jump right back into the actual um, hunt for some cattle. Huh, that actually didn't turn out too bad. I'm totally digging that. That is that is definitely probably one of my one of my better builds, I think. So pretty cool, I guess. I mean Yeah, I'm I'm to I'm pretty proud of myself with this one. This is uh this is definitely something decent that I built for once, because I mean if you guys have been watching the series and you in particular, remember episode 11 and episode 12, where I um, built that putrid abomination in the current area where the house is, where it was like, you know, wood and wool and God knows what else. So, sorry, buddy, but your sacrifice will be put to a good purpose of item frames to organize my wood materials. So, pretty cool, I guess. Do I have any bones? Yes, I do. Okay, those will come in handy in about uh, two minutes from now. I kind of got taken away there by the view. And there it is. The original position where the cabin was going to be before I moved it down over there. Um, sorry this isn't like a, uh, you know, a series where I just push for going towards the wither and going for the ender dragon and whatnot. I kind of just want to chill and just play Minecraft. So, eventually we'll get there when I run out of things to build. So, you know, this series is probably going to go on for a long time. So, yeah. And that probably means that the viewer count is going to stay low, but so be it. I'm having fun. I don't see any more cows in the area. There's probably more down there, but we got four. Um, hmm. I would prefer to have eight, but I think that the current number will do. In the meantime, I'm totally going to go and roast some uh, beef because I am starving right now and melons are not doing it. Hold on, I got an itch. Ugh. That's the one thing about having longish hair, is like, when you have your headphones on, like, your, your hair gets, like, into your ears. Okay, that didn't work. That's not good. Do I really need four of these? I only have three. That's not good. Okay, so I need more of them. Um... Interesting, interesting, interesting. This is quite the unexpected turn. Um, I thought that I could bone meal those little uh, saplings and um, get another dark oak tree. So I could, uh, you know, get four of them and actually start producing it. But apparently, you need four. And that's why they haven't grown at all. So it's not like a uh, jungle sapling where you can force it. Which is unfortunate. I really wonder um, if it's like worth it or not. If I should just like leave it as it is and then I'll finish it later. But you know, I gotta, I gotta do this. 
section here at least. And that there. Any saplings over here? Doesn't look like it. That's probably what I picked up. There were those saplings. Um, that seems to be good. I'm gonna need some oak and some birch as well. Just the logs though. So, I will be taking some more of this tree. And, huh, I don't think there's enough birch for me. There's just not enough birch trees. Like, I mean, seriously, there's just so little birch trees in this area. Like, there's just not enough. I gotta be careful with harvesting birch trees or else I'm gonna run out. That was purified sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. Just kind of, you know, pointing that out there. But, um, there's, there's a lot of birch. I mean, a lot. So, basically, what I'm doing is I'm collecting some wood samples for item frames. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll still have a dark wood log in here. Yes, I do. That's fantastic. Kind of um, channeling my inner David Tennant there. Fantastic. Actually, no, wait, that's not David Tennant. That's um, that's number number uh, number nine. I don't remember his name. But he was the guy in between uh, David Tennant and Eight. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Doctor Who. So, that happened. Um, I am a Matt Smith kind of guy. Big fan of uh, Matt Smith and his work. David Tennant is a close runner-up. And I have not watched any of the new Doctor Who stuff. Because I um, actually haven't even caught up with Peter Capaldi yet. So, I think when I left off in Doctor Who, they just, like, let's see. Clara got it. Right, okay. So, when I left, I, the last episode that I watched was when um, Clara finally departed from the series. I haven't seen an episode since then. So... I need to put the saplings near there too, I guess. That's why that's why I wanted the um the other four item frames because some of the wood logs are way too similar. So let's go hunt some more cows. Alpacas are cool. You guys remember is Mo Creature is more creature is it Mo or more? Mo creatures? Is that still a thing? I remember that was like my favorite thing to have in um in Minecraft back in 1.0.0 .0. 0. 0. and 1.2.5. Uh, most creatures, Tale of Kingdoms, Balkan's Weapons. Um, let me keep thinking here. Clay Soldiers. Um... Better than wolves. Oh, that was that was good. That was a good mod. Better than wolves. If any of you remember Better Than Wolves, that's like that's a real shame that that mod doesn't really um exist anymore on the uh, uh, for the update queue. But yeah. Oh snap! Look at that. A lot of dark oak. Exactly what I needed. Two of these forests are basically toxic when it comes to like the mobs they produce. So, let's go and just snag a bunch of saplings here. So, I gotta find a tree that doesn't leave me vulnerable while harvesting its leaves. I think I'm out of the dark forest. So, let's see if we can get lucky enough. I want to drop down. Doesn't look like it's going to happen with that one. Come on. Yes, 
Yes, I got one. All right. We need two. Ugh. That's oak. Ugh. I need, um... This is not good. Like, not good at all. Um, okay, I got my meat on me. My armor is decayed quite a bit, so I can't take too much more damage or else I'm going to risk losing my helmet. Um, let's see. I think home is this way because the mountain range is over there. The swamps are over there. Hmm, yes. And according to the constellations, I must go this direction in order to find my way back home. And there is something with golden armor over there. Sweet. It's exactly what I wanted. Broken down golden leggings. Ah, judging by the trajectory of the moon and the stars, I am lost. Okay. This way. Alright, let's uh, navigate carefully down this mountain. Oh, so carefully. And let's watch out for the zombie up there. Hi, buddy. Um, I'm gonna die. I am so gonna die. Hmm. Got to be really careful here with uh, my navigation skills or else I'll end up getting uh, caught up on something and uh, snuck up on a creeper. So, yeah. I don't think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I managed to go the wrong way entirely somehow. Okay, whoops. Okay, it is... Oh, shoot. That is, um, that is cause for concern and to run as fast as possible. In a random direction that has no true orientation. Um, spiders. Great. Not as bad as Skyrim, though. Those spiders are actually manageable. Yeah, if you have not seen anything from my Skyrim Let's Play, um, I seem to have some really bad luck with frostbite spiders appearing out of nowhere and constantly attack attacking me. So, tis the life of a Khajiit in the middle of Tamriel, I guess gotta deal with those spiders trying to you know get you as well as bandits who always seem to have a cousin's cat that they've killed too so we've made it back without dying which is a complete shock considering how clumsy I am and um, how overconfident I can become so, 
I'm actually doing really good for like not dying and whatnot. And I'm really surprised that I haven't died yet because usually, um, I like die several times because I get overconfident with my explorations. But I think it has to do with me recording and not wanting to make a complete fool of myself. So, let's see. Right, still gotta go kill more cows. Um, can I, can I burn this down at a gold nugget so I can actually use it, or is that not a thing? Okay, let's see. Do I have any birch saplings? No, I do not. I need to go get some birch saplings as well as some more cow leather. Uh, what is that? There's we need more. Ugh. I think I'm thinking of Invader Zin seams right now. Seams. Invader Zim scenes. But I don't remember which one. Like I don't know. I don't know. My my brain is sort of uh, a little over occupied right now with uh, stupid stuff like um, I can't really talk about it because it'll spoil the surprise and it's gonna be a really terrible surprise so uh, hopefully you guys are okay with crappy surprises because boy are you gonna get one in approximately three weeks from now because development is going to take a long time on this project. It might, be, it might be sooner. I don't know. I mean, I really can't give a good estimation. It depends on how much time I allocate to it, as well as some other factors. Such as loss of sanity in the process. Ooh, cows. I'm coming! So... Hopefully you guys don't mind my ramblings and whatnot, and, um, oh, shoot, that reminds me. I was actually going to ask, because if, you know, if you've made it this far, you're, you're definitely either a subscriber or someone new, and chances are you're a subscriber, but whatever. Anyways, for those of you guys who actually pay attention to my content, what do you guys think of the, uh, the way that I, uh, prepare and do thumbnails? Because I'm kind of wondering if I should try something else, or if... You know, my thumbnails are good, or if I should um, just abandon the whole thumbnail concept entirely and never touch the thumbnails again. So, yeah, because um, I've really been wondering about um, kind of like what thumbnails you guys think are good, which ones you think are bad, um, which kind of screenshots are good, if I should stop doing screenshots and wait until after I'm done recording, but... The only reason why I do screenshots during the video is because I want to create the perception that as soon as I stop recording and start recording for the next episode, there's no gap um, in between the two. That it's, you know, from one to the next. Which oftentimes, if you look at it, um, I will be exactly where I was um, where I stopped the video. Unless I had recording difficulties and had to pause and repause it a couple times to get Audacity finally working. So. Because my recording process is probably one of the worst on the planet. Simply because the Windows Game DVR does not record in separate channels. The uh, Game Audio shares the same channel as the Mic Audio. And I can't have that because I need to be able to edit the track separately. Um, I have to record half my audio in Audacity and then just let the game DVR do its thing. And this leads to, um, well, me having to line the audio up after in post, as well as making sure that it's all good to go. So, it's a, it's a dumb process and I don't know why I keep doing it, but it works the best. Even though it adds about four minutes to total render time. So. Huh. 
<sighs> wow, I am not sure what I am doing in my life anymore. There we go, sapling. Never mind, I know exactly what I'm doing in my life right now. Getting saplings for cosmetic effects. So, we've got sort of this modern-esque house right here. I don't really know what to call this. Then we've got this weird, stoic-looking uh, lumber mill, which I actually need to do the exterior cosmetics for. So, and I, oh, it's right there. So, we have our birch. Um... This is our oak. What are you? You're dark oak. Okay. And you're spruce. All right. Now we actually have places to put our wood supplies. So we're going to start by putting our dark oak non-existent stuff in here. Our spruce materials in here. Um, the birch wood we have in there, and our generics in here. So let's uh, let's go grab some stuff from the chests and start uh, start doing some fun sorting. So got some dark oak, some spruce, some birch, some spruce, some leaves, some more birch. Lots and lots of spruce. I wonder why there's so much spruce. There's like no valid explanation. It's just kind of like weird that spruce just keeps popping up. I mean, there's like no reason that there's so much spruce. Like it's, it's just random. Like there's just not a single reason why there's so much spruce being used. Not a single reason. All right. And oh, right. We have uh, leaves too. Um, let's see, oh, we have more birch. That seems about good. Let's go pick up the rest. So we've got... Nothing else. Cool. Oh, right there. There we go. And some more oak leaves. All right. There we go. That is um that is all of our wood materials being transferred from the many chests to the lumber mill. So hopefully you guys appreciate this effort on my part to actually organize my stuff because I usually don't organize jack. So I mean Unless it's, like, programming and other things. Which I can't say or else it'll spoil what I'm working on, but... Yeah. Let's see. I don't know why I'm still staring at the screen. I need to go cook some, some, mo some food. So... Next episode, we're going to be doing the, uh, the decorations for this, um this area and kind of just filling in some more spots and making it more aesthetically pleasing. Whoa, that grew. And once that's done, we're going to move on and start working on the uh, forge. So that'll be cool. I hate rotten flesh so much. There's not a good use for rotten flesh. I really wish there was. So kind of getting a little tired of constantly taking screenshots of buildings I've already built. But maybe I can do one from the back side here and it'll actually work. I'll see if I can free, frame up a good... Uh... No, that's too much glare from the sun. Maybe now's a good time to do, um, to do an uphill picture. A little throwback to, uh, to episode 11... And I think that was episode 11. 
where I take a picture from up here, but you don't really get the full encompassing effect of the two houses. So we're going to do it from right here. There we go. That's a good one. Yeah. Way too many torches, though. I need to cut down the number of torches I'm using. But, anyways, we've actually got a lumber mill done, and that took only, I think, three episodes compared to uh, ten. <laughs> or, well, like, a lot. So, anyways, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, get, get the sleeping done for the day, and then we'll, um, we'll move forth with the outro, but anyways, once again, if you are a, uh, returning viewer, uh, let me know what you think of my thumbnail process, if I should stop and take a different approach, or if I should continue, if you like it, um, let me know if, uh, you actually, um, like, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know, all right, I don't, I don't know, I'm, like, totally lost right now, so, just, just like criticisms, comments, concerns. Your, your comments and criticisms and whatnot. Let me know what you think of that. And um, yeah, just I don't know. Talk to me, jeez. Like, I really appreciate when you guys comment. So it like makes my day all that much better to see comments from you guys. And I know there's quite a few of you who watch through this and don't comment. So, you know. Stay silent if you want, but I appreciate you, so thank you. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Ow. I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, babbling, rambling, decorating, and hunting. So, babbling, rambling, I'll do just babbling, and I don't know, I gotta figure out a title for this one, but anyways... Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic night.